Excuse me while I straighten it out a little bit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. We are on week four of our summer reading program, our Tales and Tales. And today we are going to see and hear tales of the animals that live in Africa. So before we get started, let's do our hello song. Remember we're doing the new one? Goes like this. We still know how to do the sign language for hello. We say hello like this. We say hello like this. We're all here for story time. We say hello like this. We're gonna clap our hands next. Here we go. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We're all here for story time. We clap our hands like this. And then we're going to nod our head. We nod our head like this. We nod our head like this. We're all here for story time. We nod our head like this. And now if you're standing up, I want you to sit right down like this. We sit right down like this. We're all here for story time. We sit right down like this. And we are here. I'm gonna bring my globe over. Oh. Here it is in its stand. If you ever want to look at this, it's just on top of the shelves at the library. Although right now I got it squirreled away back here so I can use it for these times. But it'll be up on the shelves. If you want to take it down and look at the globe and look at the world, you certainly may. So I'm going to set it down here. And I'm going to pick up my world. This is our Earth. Let's see. South America. We've done South America animals. We've done North America animals. <laughs> Last week we went to Australia and we saw Australian animals. Well, for week four, we are in Africa. There it is, right here. If I could hold this in my hands, right here. This is Africa, the continent of Africa. Oops, I can't watch myself and move at the same time. Africa and the fun thing I noticed this morning when I was doing story time out on Rally Point Don't forget Madagascar Right there Madagascar is part of Africa. You might know a movie about some penguins from Madagascar You might have seen a movie. You probably already know some of the animals that live in the continent of Africa Well, I'm gonna put my globe back on its stand I'm gonna move it over here so it's out of my way. And let's get ready with our first animal. No, not our first animal. We have to do our story. What animal is this? This could be my first animal. What animal is this? Do you know what that is? Oh, you're right, it is a zebra. Did you know that no two zebras have the same stripes? Just like our fingerprints, Nobody has the same fingerprints. Zebras do not have the same set of stripes. Their stripes are all different. How cool. Well, here we go. Zebra, zebra, what do you see? I see. <gasps> A cheetah looking at me. Cheetah, cheetah, what do you see? I see a, which one is that? Oh, he's got the horn on the front. <gasps> yes, you're right, he's the rhino. He's the rhinoceros. I see a rhino looking at me. Rhinoceros, rhinoceros, what do you see? Oh, living in Africa is this tall giraffe. I see a giraffe looking at me. Good for you for saying giraffe. Giraffe, giraffe, what do you see? I see a lion looking at me. Tell me, what does a lion say? Let me hear you. Say it really loud. <gasps> yes, roar, says the lion. Lion, lion, what do you see? I see. Oh, I don't know if you can see him. He's out of the water. What is he? Oh, yes, you're right. It's a hippopotamus. 
I see a hippo looking at me. Hippo, hippo, what do you see? We are back to the zebra. I see a zebra and all the other African animals looking at me. Okay, zebras are so fun, but this is the first animal I am going to start with. We're going to start with the hippopotamus. And I'm gonna start with a rhyme that we need to do some actions with. So I'm gonna put my hippo down and I'm gonna stand up and move back. And let me see. First, I'm gonna tell you how this goes. It goes to the tune of the wheels on the bus go round and round, but we're going to sing the feet of the hippo go thump, 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 thump. And then in the second verse, we're going to do the nose on the hippo goes. <laughs> he snorts like a pig. And then in the third verse, the tail on the hish hippo goes swish, swish, swish. And we're gonna swish our tails. So let me stand up and get back so we can do our thump, 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 our snort, 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 and our swish, swish, swish. Here we go. Are you up? Are you standing up? Okay, I'm gonna get right here because I can see me on the camera, so you can see me. The feet on the hippo go thump, thump, thump. On the hippo go thump, thump, thump in Africa. Now we need his nose and he's going to go snort, snort, snort. The nose on the hippo goes <coughs> The nose on the hippo goes in Africa. Now I have to move back because we're going to do the tail on the hippo. The tail on the hippo is on the back side. So if you got your back side ready, you got your little hippo tail, I'm going to turn around because our hippo's tail is going to go swish, swish, swish. The tail on the hippo goes swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the tail on the hippo goes swish, swish, swish in Africa. Oh, good job. You could thump your feet. You could swish your tail. You could <laughs> make snorting noises and hopefully not joke. If you can't do it without choking, just go snort, snort, snort. Okay. Up on the board, I am going to put up some hippos. Now in my picture, you notice the hippo is standing beside the water. He's not in the water right now. He's beside the water. So I have to put some hippos. Here's my water, here's the pond, up here's the grass. How many hippos do you think I will put up there? Can you count them with me? One. There's a hippo. Two. Here comes another hippo. Right, it's three. Let me put him right there. What comes after three? Number four. I'll put him here. Oh, one more. What comes after four? Oh, yes. It's five. We have five hippos in Africa that are out on the grass. Come back up here, hippos. Can I bring you closer? And not lose you. Here we go. Oh, but then you won't see them when I put them in the water. Okay, I'll scoot them back a little bit. Here's how the rhyme goes. Five hungry hippos eating grass by the shore. One cannonballs. How do you cannonball? <gasps> Jump, whoosh. Can you see him? One cannonballs into the water, and now there are one, two, three, four. Four hot hippos under a shady tree. 
One slides into the water. No cannonballs for him. He's just going to slide into the water. There he is. Now how many are up in the grass? One, two, three. Three grazing hippos. Oops, crying. Three grazing hippos found some grass to chew. One dives into the water. Let's make this guy dive. Are you ready? He's gonna jump up into the air and dive. There he goes. One dives into the water and then there are one, two. One, two. Two hot and cranky hippos want to get out of the sun. One does a backflip. Oh, can you make him do a backflip? Back Here we go, I'm gonna pick him up and he's gonna flip, backflip. Ah! Into the water he goes. Oh, come on hippo, go this way, there we go. He did his good backflip, backflip into the water. And now there is just one up on the shore. One lonely hippo needs the others for some fun. He jumps into the water. Here we go. Jump. Whoosh, whoosh. And now how many are up on the grassy shore? Zero. None. But wait. Look in the water. Can you see them? And what do we see? Five cool hippos. One, two, three, four, five cool hippos. Happy as can be. Oh, hippos, I'm so glad you had your, your munch, munch, munch of the grass lunch on the shore. And then you went into the water. They cannonballed into the water, just whoosh. They slid into the water. They back flipped into the water. They jumped into the water. How'd the other one go in? Oh. He back flipped. He jumped. He slid. Oh well, he cannonballed. They all got into the water. And now they're being nice and cool. I think hippos are kind of a scary animal. Have you ever seen their big mouths? Oh my goodness, I bet when they eat, they get a lot. Okay, hippos live in Africa, but so do, what's my next one? Let me find them again. Let me see if I can show you. Oh yes, here it is. My next animal is the giraffe. Did you know giraffes can be nine feet tall? I'm five feet tall. So that would be almost me and another one of me standing on my shoulders. That's how tall a giraffe can get. Oh my goodness, he's very tall. So we're going to do another poem about a giraffe that goes very, very tall. And I don't remember my words so well yet, so I have to take my paper with me. I'm gonna stand up because we're gonna do some moving, so stand up with me. Here we go. Get right over here. I'm a tall, tall giraffe. Can you even see how tall I'm reaching? I'm a tall giraffe, reaching way up high. A big, tall giraffe. I almost reached the sky. Are you up on tippy toes? Reach, reach as high as you can. And the giraffe is still taller than me. I eat the leaves from the tallest trees. Yum. And when I run, I move with ease. I'm a big, tall giraffe. Stretching way up high, way up high. Oh my goodness, are you reaching way up high? Let's try that one again. Let's do it one more time. See if I can do it without looking at the words. I'm a big tall giraffe, reaching way, stretching way up high. A big tall giraffe, I almost touched the sky. Get up there on those 
tippy toes. I eat the leaves from the tallest trees. Are you munching? Giraffes have long tongues too. I forgot to tell you that. Reach their tongue out, like wrap it around that leaf and pull it in. I eat the leaves from the tallest trees. And when I run, I run with ease. I'm a big, tall giraffe, reaching way up high. Can you go even higher? Way, oh, I don't know if I can, up high. Oh, that's as high as I can reach. Look at how high you can reach. Are you reaching the ceiling? Are you touching the ceiling? Oh my goodness, giraffes are very tall. Well, let me see. Do you know what color giraffes are? Usually when you see, see them, when you color them, <laughs> I color them yellow with brown spots. They have some cool spots on them that help camouflage them. When they're standing in the trees eating the leaves, those spots help camouflage them so the lions can't see them to come get them. Well, I'm going to put my giraffe picture down and I'm going to do another poem, rhyme, story with some giraffes. Actually, it's a song. I can sing this to you. Now, my giraffe has some very different spots. It goes like this. Oh, what's my tune? Mary had a red dress, I think it is. This giraffe has orange spots, orange spots, orange spots. This giraffe has orange spots on her fur. Could you tell that was orange? She has orange spots on there. Let me put the giraffe up on the board. Put a little piece of tape up there. Now, let me show you the next giraffe. I wonder what color spots the next one has. Can you tell me? Look at those spots, I'll get it way up close. <gasps> Did you say pink? They're not pink. Look again. Look at, look at, look at. Red. This giraffe has red spots. Red spots, red spots. This giraffe has red spots on her fur. Well, we have orange. We have red. Is that what color really are the spots on the giraffe? Well, let's try the next one. Maybe the next one is right. Here we go. What color are these spots? Oh yes, I heard you right away. You said blue. This giraffe has blue spots, blue spots, blue spots. This giraffe has blue spots on his fur. Look at that. Okay, orange spots, red spots, blue spots. I still don't think we have the right color spots on our giraffe yet but they are very pretty. Let's try this giraffe. Oh, come here giraffe, don't run away. <gasps> Look at that, is that right? Is that the right color of spots for a giraffe? No, it's not? Why, don't giraffes have gray spots? Oh, that's not gray? What color is that? Oh, you're right, it's green. This giraffe has green spots, green spots, green spots. This giraffe has green spots on his fur. Okay, how many giraffes have we got up here now? We better count them. I'm gonna cover you up a little bit. We have one, two, three, four. We have four giraffes. Well, let me see, I do have another one here. Maybe this is the right color of spots. Can you tell? Can you tell what they are? No, they're not black spots. Look again. No, they're not yellow spots. What color is that? Oh, yes, you're right. Purple, like purple grapes. This giraffe has purple spots, purple spots, purple spots. This giraffe has purple spots on her fur. I'm gonna add her to the board. She's gonna go right up there. I'm gonna put her right here with those giraffes. So we have one, two, three, four, five. 
five giraffes. <gasps> but I do have one more. Let's look at this giraffe. Oh, I think we might have the right one. What color is that? <gasps> yes, thank you for telling me. It is brown. This giraffe has brown spots, brown spots, brown spots. This giraffe has brown spots on her fur as she looks like the right color for a giraffe. Let's hold up the picture I colored next to the picture of the giraffe. Looks pretty close. All right, let me put this giraffe up on the board. We had five hippos, but we have more giraffes. We better count our giraffes and see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, and one more makes six. We have six giraffes. We have five hippos, but we have one more giraffe because we have six. All right, thanks for counting them with me. Well, you know what? I want to tell you about a few more animals that are in Africa in another rhyme that we have to stand up and do some motions to. We're gonna have a hippopotamus, we're going to have a zebra, we're going to have a giraffe, and then we're going to have the lion. We're gonna have four animals, and they're all going for a ride. Let me stand up and move back. You guys stand up and get ready too to do this one with me, because all of these animals are going for a ride on the bus. And you might know the song about the wheels on the bus go round and round. Well, that's not the song we're doing. We're doing a chant. It goes like this. The hip, the hip, the hippopotamus got up, got up, got up on a bus. And all of the people said, oh, you're squishing us. Is your hippopotamus squishing them? Sitting on a bone, squish, squish. Okay, but we got the hippopotamus on the bus. Now we're gonna put on a zebra. A zebra, a zebra, a zebra got on the bus. A zebra, zebra, a zebra got on the bus. And all of the people on the bus said, move on back. Are you moving back? Move on to the back of the bus. Okay, we got our zebra on now. Next, we are going to put on our big, tall giraffe. Here we go. A giraffe, a giraffe got up on the bus. A giraffe, a giraffe got up on the bus. And all of the people on the bus said, sit down. Sit down, giraffe, so you will fit. So, we have our hippo on the bus. We have our zebra on the bus. We have our giraffe sitting on the bus. Now comes the lion. A lion, a lion got up on the bus. A lion, a lion got up on the bus. And all the people on the bus said, ah! And they ran off the bus. Oh, are you running off the bus? Getting away from that lion? <laughs> I'm doing this on the bus? Oh my goodness. So many, many fun animals for Africa. And if you saw us today at, at um, Harley Davidson Rally Point, I did a couple of stories. We did Giraffes can't dance, but we found out giraffes can dance. We did Starry Safari. So many animals you could see. And even more animals in rhinos for lunch and elephants for supper. I will be doing these same books again tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock over at Rally Point. Join us, do our books, do our songs. Some of the things I do here I do at Rally Point. Some of the things I do here, I don't do at Rally Point. You'll have to come see. But these are the books I will be reading tomorrow. We have more books 
so many more books at the library. I didn't even bring them all in with me because they're still packed up to take over to Rally Point again tomorrow. We have a nonfiction book about rhinos. You could learn all about rhinoceros. And then, let me put this here, you could read, I know a rhinoceros. He's not the only animal in this book, there are more. Maybe the zebra is your favorite. I have a couple of books about zebras. There's even more books about zebras. Zebras must be one of my favorites. Find out, find out how come they have their stripes. Did you know their stripes help camouflage them? How in the world could their black and white stripes camouflage them? Hippos, see, oh, he's in the water. I wonder if I can find one with this big mouth open. See if I can find a picture. Ooh, he looks kind of like a crocodile in the water there. I want to find one with his mouth open. I wonder if I will. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at how big he can open his mouth. I bet he has no problems brushing his teeth. Oh, so much fun to learn about hippos. Let me see. Oh, giraffes. Look at how tall that giraffe is. He must be eating on a very small tree. I think so. Another one about giraffes. <laughs> I do have to admit, I think giraffes are very pretty. I love giraffes because here's another giraffe book. Oh my goodness, there are enough giraffe books. You should be able to find one because here's another one <laughs> about giraffes. And then Shel Silverstein has a giraffe and a half. You could read a fun story poem about giraffe and a half. And there's also Who Wants a Cheap Rhinoceros by Shel Silverstein. So many fun books. I hope you will come check some out. I hope you will also grab a grab and go bag. We have another fun book bag today. And inside are the pages with some activities. The craft is a hippo and a zebra magnet. They're on clothespins with magnets. When you get them made, you can put them on your refrigerator. So you have a zebra that you need to add the stripes to his face, a rhino, a rhino, not a rhino, a hippopotamus that you might want to color. Maybe you want to color him gray, maybe you want to color him blue, maybe you want to color him purple. Color them and then cut them out. And then you are going to attach them in this baggie are some clothespins. So once you get the face cut out, colored, you will glue it to the clothespin. And there's two clothespins because you have two animals. And there are also, oh, good thing I grabbed this one. He's missing some eyes. There are little tiny Google eyes that you can put on your animals. <laughs> I can't get it on there with my finger and move it. But you'll have little Google eyes. You'll have four little Google eyes, two for each animal. And then, good thing I looked, because this baggie's missing a couple eyeballs. There are the magnets. Now you should be able to use your glue stick or your Elmer's glue, whatever, to put the eyeballs on. I'm not sure, you might need some craft glue to glue the papers to these, to the clothespins. But then there are magnets, and I did stick the magnets onto glue dots. So all you have to do is pull them off and put it on the back. And then you can have clothespins with the animals. If you put them on the refrigerator, you can hang up more pictures that you make at home. You can hang up lists. Maybe you want mom to get some, some things at the grocery store. You can make a list and hang it up and she'll see your list. Okay. The instructions are here, pretty simple. Just color and cut and put it all together. So I'm gonna put these pieces back in here. I'm gonna set this aside so I remember I need to add two more eyeballs to it. On the back of the hippo and zebra magnets is a lion. This is a Lego challenge. It says, build the lion in four minutes or less. Do you have Legos or different blocks at home? They don't have to necessarily be the right colors. 
you could make your lion colorful. The question is, can you build it in four minutes? Can you get all those pieces together? Try it, time yourself and see how long it takes. Here is another big list of animals you can find in Africa and it's the word search. So you're going to look to see if you can find any of those animal names in the puzzle. On the back, I love these I spy. I spy safari animals. How many zebras are on there? How many ostriches are on there? How many lions are on there? How many trees are on there? See if you can find all of them. The next page is a dot to dot, but instead of going by the numbers, instead of hooking them together by one, two, three, four, five, this one says connect the dots from A to U. So you're doing the alphabet letters, and I bet you can already decide, see what your animal is going to be. Once you get it connected, go ahead and color in your animal. And I have another coloring page for you. Build a zebra. Look at all those pieces. Now I looked at the zebra and it made me think of a package of gum. I thought of the fruit stripe gum zebra. He has all different colors. Maybe you wanna make a rainbow zebra. Maybe you're not doing a black and white one. Maybe you're doing all kinds of colors. Or maybe you're just gonna do a blue zebra or a pink zebra or a brown zebra. It's your zebra to color, cut out and glue together however you would like. So those are all the fun things you can do with the African Animals Grab and Go Bag. I will have them available tomorrow over at Rally Point when I'm doing Story Hour, or they will be available here in the library. You can pick them up anytime. I hope you will do some fun things with the African Animals. Now, a few more things, a few more notes I need to tell you about. This week also is another fun, we have an extra story time. It is the musical story time with the Chamber Music Festival, the Black Hills, the Teddy Bear Story People. This year, it is free because all of these sponsors down here are paying to have them come do programs in the library. So it doesn't cost you anything. We thank our sponsors for providing this. This year, they're doing a new story. It's called Uggy, the Ugly Duckling of Canyon Lake. Oh my goodness, you know Canyon Lake is in Rapid City, right close to us. And I think they have a lot of ducks there at Canyon Lake. So they're going to have the story of Uggy the Ugly Duckling of Canyon Lake. And when I read the story and we project this, the pages on the screen, we're going to have our chamber soloists with their harp. It says harp and bass. They're going to be playing classical music along with our story. I believe Dawn that plays the harp is the one that wrote the story. We'll find out. I can't wait. This Thursday, it's an extra story time. This Thursday, 10 o'clock at the community center, at the Sturgis Community Center in the theater. Bring your whole family, bring your neighbors, bring anybody you want. These are so much fun. I love hearing those instruments. Unfortunately, we can't do the petting zoo this year, so they're gonna do a few extra songs for us. And since this week starts the Camaro Rally in Sturgis, you're not going to be able to park in the front, in the front parking lot of the community center. So go to the back of the community center to park in the back and come on in and join us for this free musical story time this Thursday, 10 a.m. Okay, one more thing. I'm going on vacation. I am not going to be here next week. I won't be here at the library. I'm going on a fun, epic adventure vacation with my sister and my niece. So, there will still be story hour. I just won't be live. I will be on YouTube. I'm going to be recording next week's stories and activities on YouTube. So you will be able to watch it whenever it works for you. If you want to watch it on Monday because you're busy the rest of the week, you could. If you want to watch it on Thursday at 10 o'clock at night, you'll be able to. We'll have it on YouTube. Look up, go to YouTube, look up Sturgis Public Library, and next week we are doing animals from Europe. There's the loon, there's the fox, there's a hedgehog, and there's bats. It's going to be so much fun. Watch it on YouTube. I will have grab and go bags available at the library. You can stop in and pick them up anytime. 
So instead of seeing me in person or live on Facebook, watch for me on YouTube. I'll be thinking about you while I'm on vacation. I hope you will have fun. And I will be back on July 6th, 10 a.m. over at Rally Point. So until then, have a great day. Look up lots of things about animals. And I will see you later.